Christian Lacroix loves clothes that are feminine and over the top. He also loves to give historical looks a contemporary twist. Berlin State Opera on the Boulevard Unter den Linden. The French master of haute couture is attending the first fitting of the cast of Agrippina, Handel's Baroque opera that premiered 300 years ago. He's designed the costumes. Anna Prohaska, German soprano and member of the Staatsoper Ensemble, is playing Poppea. She's never worn designer clothes on stage before. I'm passionate about theater and music. That's why I'm working here. I feel fortunate to be able to do this. Christian Lacroix knows a lot about Baroque fashion. His own collections have often been inspired by the costumes of the 17th and early 18th century. He designed the outfits for Agrippina in Paris, and the Staatsoper seamstresses began working on them in the summer. The Berlin team has only been able to communicate with Lacroix over the phone until now. Excellent. It's wonderful. Yesterday we saw the costumes on the models, and now our sketches are being made into garments. That's fantastic. Christian Lacroix's clothes have always been theatrical, even when he's designing prêt à porter. What I'm doing here is similar to haute couture. In a way, my clients are the stars of their own lives. They wear unique clothes that have been designed just for them, too. It has nothing to do with prêt-à-porter, which everyone can buy a version of, even if it's expensive. But a haute couture design needs to capture the essence of a person, and that means finding the right shape for their body. When designing the costumes for Agrippina, Lacroix needed to bear in mind that the performers would be moving about a lot. <laughs> in a way, the clothes are an homage to the Baroque period, but at the same time, they're extremely modern, even a bit punk. I'm sure I'll be able to move about very easily, but at the same time, I'll feel very elegant, and this will change my posture. As with his haute couture designs, Lacroix exclusively used high-quality fabrics, such as velvet, silk, and linen. This is the Christian Lacroix trademark, a little bit eccentric, but elegant and very luxurious. Each piece is handmade. He premiered his first collection in 1987 and conquered the world of haute couture overnight. Later, he branched out into interior design and revamped a number of Paris hotels. But clothing has always remained his first love. Nevertheless, even big-name designers like Christian Lacroix are not immune to the global financial crisis. Right now, he's looking for investors. Back in Berlin, Lacroix is on his way to the Staatsoper for another fitting. He feels Berlin allows him to concentrate on his work. It's much less hectic than Paris. Bulgarian soprano Alexandrina Pendachanska will be appearing as Agrippina. She meets Lacroix already attired in lace and black taffeta. <laughs> I come up with a sketch, and then the performer's measurements are taken, and I design a prototype. But in this case, I was expecting her to be a little larger. Now I need to reduce everything and adjust the proportions to fit her. There's still a lot to be done. Christian Lacroix will return to Berlin in mid-December, just before rehearsals begin. Then he'll look at the 20 costumes to see if they meet his exacting standards.